Army of two. 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 Squared. The fortieth day. Spend the whole game in Beijing for some reason. And look at that. Split screen. The wrong way. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't change that. <laughs> you can't change it. Uh. Okay, so I'm uh, Vin Diesel <laughs> on the left. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm on the right screen. D. And uh, I think these guys are what? Straight out of Jersey Shore. Basically. With yeah. their brosifs. Army of two. I guess they're more bro. Two Colin Jersey Shore. Yeah, they don't have the Jersey Shore like way of talking. They have the more like California bros of way of talking. So what's a quick review? What's your quick review on this game? Even though we will be doing a full video review, it's gonna be our first one. Okay, I give it. You don't have to give it a score. Just okay. Say your, your overall thoughts and impressions. Is it worth buying for sixty no. bucks? Fuck no. Okay. Uh, rent it if you want to play it. Because mm -hmm. it's not that long. Mm -hmm. And that's what she said. I'm not interested in the multiplayer after playing it. Um, basically, my feelings are or there are some horrid designer mistakes mm -hmm. uh, in regards to the saving, in regards to the split screen, in regards to like things you can't change that you should be able to, and cut screens or cut scenes you should be able to skip. Mm -hmm. But you fucking can't. Can't skip cutscenes in this game, which is ridiculous. I can't, like, they're, it's they're dumb. Yeah. They're really dumb. There's no reason to watch them. Like we just gave up. Like we we didn't even. I tried to pay attention to the cutscenes for a little bit, and then I was just like, fuck it. I'm gonna put on a podcast, and I'd rather listen to that than whatever retarded story they're trying to make me follow here. Yeah, and then sometimes they won't let you go through doors until someone's done talking, and if you're not listening to the game, yeah. you have no idea why you can't open the door. So you start backtracking a bit, and you're like, what the fuck's going on? So uh, here, when you're in this elevator, you have to go into the weapon customization menu and then just back out to get the elevator to open, or else you'll be on an elevator forever. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, so basically, if you can overlook those things, or if those things don't are the game, make or break for you. The game is fun. There is fun to be had. There is fun to be had in this game. The split screen should not be horizontal. No, I mean, it should, it, be, it sh it should be horizontal. It should not be vertical. No, it should be either way. Oh, you should yeah. have your fucking choice. Some That's people true. may like it like that. That's true. Personally, I'd rather see wide than skinny. Yeah. Oh, I guess a quick note about our guide. We are going to make it um, as tough on ourselves as possible. We're gonna be as evil as possible. Like every hostage situation, we're gonna kill every single hostage. Yes. Even if we save them, we're gonna kill them. Yes. Because uh, later on in the game, there's some situations where if you save enough hostages, they will come and assist you. We don't oh, want their damn assistance. And we we don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> no, but um. Yeah, we're gonna make it harder on ourselves as possible. Uh, we were thinking about doing a no upgrade run, but we just decided it's too much fun to bling out our shit and I, I'm going to try to shoot all the cats as well but I already have a cat guy that's separately edited cat guide cat guide is there showing up on search is results? that your guide to getting pussy in this game? <laughs> yes beer baron's guide to getting pussy uh, <laughs> sadly it involves virtual cats <laughs> virtual cats <laughs> virtual cat statues <laughs> and um even though there's this weird aggro system, there's very few situations where you actually use it. Uh, I don't know. I'd say with any of those bosses where you have to hit their back. That's what I'm talking about. Like, oh. there's very few situations that you actually have to have one person draw the attention. Yeah. And then one person shoot him in the back. But even then, it's not so much about using that aggro bar. It's about just having one person be behind him mm -hmm. and then one person be in front of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that aggro bar is... I don't know. It's easier just to go in guns blazing, shoot every single thing that moves. Yeah. And and get explicitly pissed off at you because you run and gun and then die. <laughs> and then I'm not skilled enough to fucking save you. <laughs> they did take some of my, uh, one of my tips from the first Army of Two guide that we made, though. 
which was that like every single guy you kill should just give you money. Mm-hmm. Not every single guy gives you money, but a lot of the guys that you kill give you money, which is kind of nice, even though it's very small amounts of money. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of adds up, I guess, throughout the whole game to get more upgrades. Oh, and um, we don't really do any upgrades until I think the third level of mm-hmm. the game. So just save up all your cash until you get to the third level, and that's when you're going to have enough decent weapons unlocked to actually make it worthwhile to put your cash into. Yeah. 